Hi everyone, my name is Wilson. I am a second year biological sciences major and today I will be talking to you about the COSAM Studio Labs. So the COSAM Studio Labs are in the Warren J. Baker Center for Science and Mathematics, which is this beautiful building you see on your left. Um, this building has six stories of classrooms, laboratories, uh, faculty offices, etc. cetera. Um, but specifically the COSAM Studio Labs um, hold uh, the general chemistry classes, general chemistry series. So as a bio major, as a chem major, or even an engineer, or whatnot, um, you'll be taking general chemistry. So a very, a very, very large population of students will be taking this class. And you would think that with such a large population of students, students needing to take general chemistry, that it will be taught in a huge lecture hall full of hundreds and hundreds of other students um, taught by multiple um, professors or, or TAs at a time, but no, they are taught in this little studio lab that you see in your right. It's actually not too little, but it's also not too big, and that's the beauty of it. So these studio labs were actually designed by our own chemistry department, um, and you'll see on the name outside of the studio labs, it says Christina A. Bailey uh, Classroom or Studio Lab or whatever, and it's because it was um, Dr. Bailey, who is a, now a retired professor, uh, she was the one who um, came up with this idea along with the chemistry department. So um, our, so the chemistry department's curriculum very, very much matches the environment of the classroom. And I think that's super, super, super cool. Um, so these chemistry studio labs are really cool in the, in the sense that it starts separating, separating lab and lecture. Um, like a three-hour lab and a three-hour lecture, they put lab and lecture together. And that doesn't mean three hours of lab and three hours of lecture consecutively. It's sort of split throughout the entire week. But every single time you go in, you're not only going to be learning theoretically about um, the chemistry concepts, but you'll be able to get your hands on to equipment, chemicals, and stuff like that right immediately after you learn about it. Um, so that's super cool, I think. Um, so. So here's what it kind of looks like. Here are some, here are some of the pictures that we have. Um, as you can see, people right now, they're working on labs. They're probably working on um, maybe colorimetry. I see them holding uh, thermometers and stuff. So what's really cool is that a lot of these equipment that we have hooks up really easily to the computers. And the computers you see on the right, each um, desk has a computer and you have to sit next to a lab partner. Um, so the professor will actually project, not really, will project the slides onto the computer screen as opposed to like a single like uh, projector screen. And so you have your own little mini um, slide over there uh, on your desk and you get to, you know, work out problems with your table or your lab partner. It's super collaborative. I think it's super cool. And it, it seems like there's a lot of people in this classroom, but there really isn't. There's only about 64 max people and uh, students in this classroom. Uh, and if you compare that to other universities, well, you'll be sitting with hundreds and hundreds of other people. I think that's really, really small. And another really cool thing is that each class is taught by one PhD professor only. Um, and then you'll have one to two learning assistants, which, which are just other undergraduate students who are there to help um, with, say, lab procedures, setting up equipment or answering questions about how to do certain things. They're not there to teach, they're just there to help these learning assistants. Um, but the main thing is that you have one uh, professor in each classroom who's really there to make sure that you understand what's going on. They make an effort to know your name, to know, you know who you are, what you're like. And you know, some professors are even nice for you to be sort of um, friendly with. And I think that's really, really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so these are the COSAM Studio Labs. I think this is going to be a very uh, interesting environment for you to learn in. And the first time I walked in here during uh, Peak CW Polycultural Weekend, I sat in the lab. I was like, if this is the classroom I'm going to be learning in, I'm going to be having so much fun, both you know, learning about the subject and getting to know the people in my table and to find study buddies. 